I briefly wanted to review the Black Arch Protos M holster. Winter's upon us, and those of you who are carrying outside the waistband or ankle carry for the winter may need to be switching to inside the waistband for the summer to accommodate those shorts. Black Arch is a company based in Logan, Utah. When I was researching inside the waistband holsters, I didn't see a lot of videos out there on this product specifically. There are a couple, but I wanted to show you mine, which I've been using for about two solid months now. The cool thing about Black Arch holsters is their color customization with the Protos M. It's hard to know what the colors are actually going to look like when you get it, so I wanted to share a little bit about mine. The Protos M inside the waistband holster starts at $70. When you add the mesh option, it costs about 10 extra dollars. You can change the color of the front mesh to a juniper green like mine. That's gonna run you about $4. And then I selected the storm gray, also known as the dark gray for the Kydex, which runs another $4-ish. So in total, this ran me almost $90, but I saved about $10 by using the coupon code greenlight-10 for 10% off from YouTube user Greenlight's video. I don't know if the code still works, but that's what I did. I originally had my mind set on the Alien Gear Cloak Tuck 3.0. I don't own one, but I did get to try one briefly, and it was pretty comfortable, which had my mind set on it, until a friend suggested I look into Black Arch's Protos M holsters. The Protos M holsters are a modular system, meaning that you can use this same Kydex shell on their appendix carry backer as well as their outside the waistband backer. What I've found with this so far, while the Protos M costs about twice as much as the Alien Gear Cloak Tuck, the features that sold me on the Protos M over the Cloak Tuck 3.0 were the mesh backing, which allows great breathability while it still gets hot in the warm weather where the holster sits on my back. I find that it cools down pretty decently, where I think the cloak tuck might not breathe as well with its spring steel core as it might trap sweat. The Protos M is less wide than the cloak tuck, with the three quarters design from Black Arch. As you can see here, the Kydex wraps around the trigger guard, which provides better retention with this screw here. You can adjust that to get tighter or looser retention. What also sold me is the flared opening that Black Arch put on their holster. I'll give you a little bit better look at this flared opening with my Shield 9mm. You can hear it clicks in solidly with the retention and you can see there's a slight gap between the firearm and the edge of the holster. It makes holstering the firearm just a little bit easier, which is nice. You can see nice firm retention there, which is awesome. Again, the color customization doesn't hurt because the Protos M offers a wide variety of colors to choose from, including their holster of the week, which they offer at a discount if you like what they're putting up there. When I received my holster, I found a couple things. First off, the holster smelled terrible due to the leather being laser cut. The smell's gone now. Like I said, I've had this for about two months, and I'm not exactly sure when it wore off. Another thing I found was that although ideally you'd wear a gun belt when you're carrying, but if you're like me and you're an average Joe, the clips on the holster fit over a wide variety of belts, from your standard leather belt, to a dress belt, to a studded belt, to a webbed belt. Though I'm sure you'll need a good solid buckle on any belt, it looks most natural on belts that are 1.5 inches wide, rather than some of the more narrow dress belts, which can look a little weird. Like I said, I'm about two months into using this holster, and so far so good. As you can see, the holster has developed a little bit of shape to my body, and while carrying it approximately the 430 position is the easiest to draw from, I find that I prefer to wear it at about the 6 o'clock in the small of the back, because I find it more comfortable as I sit for hours on end at work. A couple of final notes on this holster is that I found it to be very secure when you have to run at a moment's notice. It even carries pretty well when you're wearing basketball shorts or sweats, as long as you have a decent drawstring on those. As you can see, it's got some pretty solid retention here, and it's not going to fall out bouncing up and down. Granted, you can just about make anything fall out if you try hard enough, but this is pretty solid and I like it a lot. Finally, and most important, is that the retention is fantastic. I've never had a problem with my firearm falling out, ever. And there you have it guys, black arches. Protos M inside the waistband holster.